Hello everyone, my name is Dimitri Perrin. I am from QUT in Australia, and it is my pleasure to talk to you about CRISPR today. Our presentation is called Faster Evaluation of CRISPR Gain RNAs Across Entire Genomes, and my colleagues are Carl and Jake. On paper, gene editing is supposed to be easy. You take your favorite gene, you identify a suitable sequence within that gene, you construct the corresponding GAD RNA, you deliver it to the cell along with the Cas protein, and you obtain the edits that you want. However, in, in practice, ad identifying suitable guides is not that easy. Um, so what do we mean by suitable sequence? We mainly consider two properties. We want to find sequences that are going to maximize the likelihood of obtaining the edits that you desire, but also we want guides that are going to minimize the risk of off-target sequences. And evaluating that risk of off-target modification is computationally very challenging. And that's what we're going to discuss today. The motivation here is that we want to avoid any changes elsewhere in the genome. Right? We want to, there's one gene or one region in the genome that we do want to modify, but we don't want to modify anything else. Of course, a key requirement to achieve that is that we want to select GAD RNA sequences that are unique for the genome that we target. If the sequence is not unique, by definition, it's going to target multiple regions in the genome. So that's a key requirement, but it is not sufficient. It is well established that sequences that have a small number of mismatches compared to the guide can still lead to problem. The guide can still bind at these sites, and we're going to call them off-target sites for the guide that we're designing. To evaluate the risk associated with these off-target sites, we need to systematically identify for each guide that we consider all the sites that are one to four mismatches away. The reason why it is challenging is that in a given genome, we have millions of possible CRISPR target sites. And as such, if we want to identify for a given guide, all of those millions of sites that have one to four mismatches, we would potentially have to compare the guides with all of these possible sites. And that's not going to be practical for any genome of medium or large size. Before moving on to our more advanced methods to identify these sites, let's look at a visual representation that we can use to understand the problem. What we have here is a, just a 2D abstract representation of all the possible sites in the genome, right? all the possible sites that um, CRISPR could target. And so that's the sites we need to check to see if they have one to four mismatches compared to the guides that we're designing. In the brute force method, we're going to assess all of these sites, but only very few of them are going to be the real off-target sites that have one to four mismatches. The way we approach the problem is by looking at the sequence for the guide, which is 20 bases in, in length, and divide it into five sections that we call slices, five slices of length four. And our argument is that if a site is a genuine off-target site for, for the guide that we're considering, then it needs to be an identical match to the guide on at least one of these slices. If not, if it has a mismatch on at all of the slices, then we have at least five mismatches because we have five slices and it's not an off-target site. And visually, you get a sense of how the method helps us. We, by forcing exact matches on some bases, we reduce the size of the neighborhood that we need to consider. But of course, because of these 16 bases that are left free to be any base, it's still a very large neighborhood. And so we want to find ways to make that neighborhood even smaller. But the longer the slice that we use, the smaller the neighborhood that it extracts because it has fewer degrees of freedom. However, the challenge is now that we need more slices to be sure that we capture all the possible configurations of one to four mismatches. So we developed a greedy approach that constructs a set of slices that is guaranteed to be valid. And by valid, um, what we mean is that it guarantees that all the configurations of one to four mismatches are going to be captured. For instance, if we be k equal to 8, we're able to construct a valid set of 28 slices of length 8 that are going to capture all configurations of 1 to 4 mismatches. And for each of these 28 slices, the neighborhood is much smaller than for slices of length 4. In parallel, we're also working on trying to identify smaller sets of slices. Looking at some results, what we have here um, is the time it takes to extract the neighborhood and calculate the scores for 10 southern guides in genomes of increasing size. 
we are comparing our neighborhood extraction method at SSL with other leading methods for the off target scoring. You can see in brand the original version of our method with four slices of lens five. And in pink, we have our new method with the longer slices um, and the memory mapped uh, implementation that can achieve another order of magnitude speed up compared to existing methods. And with that, Carl, Jake, and I want to thank you for your attention. If you have any question or if you want to use our tool in your research, please get in touch.